Welcome back to Girl Talk. Well, you never know what we're going to talk about on this show. We just talked about fashion and dresses, and now we're talking about heating and air conditioning. So we cover it all, don't we, Elise? It's very important to know. <laughs> yes, we <laughs> and like a to part be of your daily lives. So, <laughs> with us we have John and Chris from AccuClimb Mechanical Services. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. And it is that time of year, whether we like to admit it or not. So, talking about furnaces, actually, Chris came out to my home and did a, a tune-up on my furnace. And I have to say, I've learned the importance of maintenance. Chris, do you want to speak to that a little bit and then I can tell, tell Elise about my experience yeah. too. It, you're right, it is very important for the maintenance. It, people think, um, you know, we're gonna always come in and find a problem, that's not it. The purpose of maintenance is one, to make sure it's running properly, so that it's running the best it can under the circumstances it's in, and to make sure that you're not gonna have a problem in the dead of winter. Your furnace doesn't break down at 8 a.m. on a Wednesday morning, it breaks down at 2 a.m. on a Saturday night. <laughs> <Absolutely. So laughs> oh, we want course. to avoid those is what we're trying to do, and make sure you have a clean, safe, warm, healthy winter. And if we can help with that, it's a very inexpensive way to make sure. It's like changing the oil on your car. You really just should do it. So. Well, here's Preventative what, maintenance. Yeah, but see, here's what I was going through. My furnace is what I thought was new. It's, it's about five years old, and to me that seemed new. Yeah. So I, I know how to change the filter. And is that not new? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. What well, happened? <laughs> well, no, just the fact that uh, when Chris did the tune-up, he's like, oh, we got this developing here, and we have this developing here, and this will um, be a better, you know, right. let, let me clean this out and fix this so it doesn't create a problem at two in the morning on the coldest weekend of, of winter. Sure. So my mistake was just thinking that it was new enough that eh, I can kind of push off any of that maintenance stuff until, I don't know. You realize how important it was. <laughs> till it's broke. <laughs> well, well typically, typically when you have a brand new furnace you want to try and keep your maintenance up every year anyway just because you never know what can happen over the course of a year. I guess you figure it's new and nothing wrong will go, go wrong true. for a while. But, but, but you can't control birds building nests in the exhaust <laughs> or bees flying down the flue and there's not really much you can do about that. What a lot of people don't realize as well is um, annual, annual maintenance is actually mandatory. If you read your owner's manuals, the warranties tell you that you have to do annual maintenance on it. No. Otherwise it's not going to be, it could not be covered under warranty possibly because they do ask us the last date of service on every warranty claim we file. Oh gosh, now see, and this is exactly what this appointment with Chris was like, is I, I kept learning more and more things. Some of them not that great. He's like, oh, do you know you have a leaky pipe up there? I'm like, oh, stop looking around. <laughs> 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 but yes, I, I really felt like Chris took the time to answer my questions and explain things and... I was just gonna <laughs> touch on that. Um, so I've met these gentlemen previously before and I, just, they're such good souls. I mean, you can just feel that. And they're so passionate about, about what they do and the experience that they want to give to you. How was that? I mean, can you kind of run us through? Do you, you called and made an appointment and they come to your house and... Okay, this never happens, right? Uh, the, the guy calls and, and you think they're going to be running late. Chris called before his uh, arrival time and I'm thinking, oh, he's, he's going to be an hour late. He's calling to say he's late. He called to say he was running ahead of schedule. <laughs> and uh, would that work if I wanted to start this appointment earlier? And you can get on with your day. <laughs> exactly. Right. So that was, that was definitely unexpected. And again, just taking the time to explain things and show things. I'm, I'm one of those customers that kind of likes to peek over the shoulder and see, see what the guts look like. Wait, you had questions, Janet? You wanted to know about everything going on? <laughs> That's not Janet at all. I'm slightly inquisitive. <laughs> Pull up a chair, have a seat. The other thing too was not just about the furnace itself, but about how to use it. I thought I was doing a good thing by keeping my temperature low and and only turning it higher every once in a while. I'm not going to tell you how low because that's embarrassing. Chris, <laughs> Chris kind of yelled at me, but it turned out that that's actually not good for my furnace. No, when you when you ask a furnace to make a large jump in temperature, it really creates a problem with the unit. And Chris can actually speak to the reason of, of, of why that happens. Yeah. I think we'll have to do that another time because we're almost out of time. Um, the last thing is that you had mentioned that you have a club membership. And yep. We do. We do. We offer what they call a club membership where we'll do your furnace in the fall and then we'll do your air conditioner again in the spring. Uh, as a chance to save money. If, if there's any repairs that come across, you get a chance to save money on a 15% off, uh, off of the costs. Um, it's, a nice, it's a nice program for, for folks to get involved with. Yeah, and that way it, you're making sure it's getting done. 
Right. You know. And doesn't that include service calls? So if something goes wrong, you can just call. You I mean, can call. You get front of the line pass, which means if you've got a club membership and she doesn't, we'll come to you first. It's always nice to have a guy to call, <laughs> right? We've got to run. Thank you so much for chatting, and definitely get your furnace looked at before you need it. All right. Thanks for having us out. Chris and John from AccuClimb Mechanical Services. Uh, moving on, we're going to have to take a break, but when we come back, if you love befores and afters, the makeovers, that's where we are right now, the Respite Center. Stick around. We'll be right back.